Take a look at this next example. In this example, we're buying a kayak for $3,149. So this is a very nice kayak. The sales tax rate is 7.25%. So I'll type 7.25% of the retail price. Then I'll write 7.25% of, and the retail price is the $3,149. Next, what I need to do is I need to change the 7.25% to a decimal. Since we can't multiply in percent form, we need to change it to decimal form. So I get rid of the percent sign. The decimal I can see is right there between the seven and the two. And to change it to a decimal, I divide by 100, which is the same as moving the decimal two times to the left. And I have to put a zero where there's an open open place there. So 7.25% as a decimal is 0 0.0725. And then instead of the word of, of in, in math means multiplication, so I'm gonna write a multiplication sign. And then I write the 3,149. And when I multiply those two together, that will give me the sales tax. So I'm going to go over to my Desmos calculator and type in 0 0.0725 times 3,100 and I think it was $49. Yes. And I get 228 dollars, and then it says 0 0.3025. So it says 228.3025. And with money, we round to the nearest hundredth. So the nearest hundredth, well, here's the hundredths place, the zero. The number after it, the two decides whether it stays 30 cents or becomes 31 cents. 31 cents. And since this is a two, Four or less, you let it rest, meaning you leave it alone. So it stays 30 cents. So we leave it 228.30. Think about that. So if you buy a larger item like a kayak for a couple thousand dollars, think about how much money goes to the government. In this example, $228.30 goes to the government. So let me start typing this into our table. The retail price was $3,149 and then the sales tax was $228.30. It's going to go to the government. I'll try to line up those decimals. Remember when you're adding with decimals, you line up the decimals. That's for addition and subtraction. And then the final question asks, what is the price of the kayak post-tax? Post means after. So you need to know, you need to learn that post means after if you don't already know that. So after tax is added. Remember, we're adding the tax. The tax increases the price. It's an additional fee that you're paying to the government. So now let's go ahead and add the $3,149 and $228.30. The $228.30 plus $3,149, we get $3,377.30. $3,377.30. Now, sometimes people, when they when they see the point 0.3 on the calculator, they think that's three cents. Well, that three is in the in the tenths place. So that's really saying 30 cents. You need to add a zero at the end. And I also hope you notice that when I type the 3,000 in the calculator, you do not type a comma. I also get that question a lot.
So when you have like thousands or millions, you don't type in the comma. You do type in decimals to the calculator, but you do not type in commas. All right, so the retail price was $3,149, the sales tax $228.30, and the total purchase price was $3,377.30 after you add on the tax you're going to have to pay to the government.